Hello friends and welcome to Fright Night Files and another episode of Autopsy Simulator. It's been a couple of days since I last put out a video. I've been on a small vacation with some friends. So if I sound tired and jaded, it's just the alcohol poisoning, you know. <laughs> but let's continue. I think we are in uh, chapter 4, 5, we'll see, I don't remember. Chapter 5, there we go. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> Is this? And we are going more and more mad, you know. Fucking shit! I went too far this time. <laughs> Something flew through the window. What? What's what's that? Is there a note on this rock? <laughs> Is, is that... It's blood. What? Whose blood is it? Oh God, what's happened? What's going on? Oh, Mr. Ridley? Ridley! Oh, fuck. Hey, Ridley! All this commotion. We have a corpse laying around. Ridley! Are you deaf? <laughs> sure, whatever you say, Hen. Why is that even funny? Do I need to bring you the evidence? Sure, if you have some. <laughs> Not me. I think you slept too much myself. Go and see for yourself. Uh, I'm going home. Uh, the taxi is probably waiting. So the probably a good idea. Yesterday. Yesterday? How so? It's evening. Friday, November 29th, Hanman. 29th of November. Oh. I... Uh, Sorry, I forgot that this was... Don't worry. I did too. Somehow. I just... Uh... Oh my god. Why didn't Ridley do anything? We have been sleeping in our office. Set up the cadaver ready for the autopsy. <laughs> for a couple of days? Replace you. Oh. There's no need. I'd be happier staying here than sitting at home alone. Hmm. Just in case, uh, this is... Let me know. Sure. Uh, thanks. And me. Huh? I'm very sorry. Yeah. Me too. This Ridley guy. There's, there's something off with Ridley. We have been sleeping in our office. I know for a day or two. I guess I should take my pills. And he hasn't woken us up, everything is... Oh, this was not the office. Really? Cases like these can be uh, extremely disturbing. And now the window ain't broken anymore? What? Was that all? Was the broken glass? We are really losing it. You know? This ain't right. I should go to the cemetery later. Yeah. Visit Alice. Alice's grave, I guess. Not today. Our late oh, wife. To forget the most important of things. Yeah, the pills. <laughs> Do we? Okay, we don't need to to drive this into the dissecting room. Every fucking time. Uh, oh, we already oh have a body to, to dissect. No. <sighs> it's only. Is it Alice? Only just. Where's the leg? Oh, I'm so tired. What happened to your leg? So damn tired. But Holy Moses. What has someone done? I need to repair. What? Yes, something very terrible happened to to this woman. <sighs> Voice recorder. Yeah, I think this one we should not film. You know, look at 
Look at the state of this body, man. Holy toaster. It's November 29th, year 1991. The autopsy is uh, performed by Dr. Jack Hanban. <clears throat> Amber Louvre, 30, tattoo parlor employee. Found in the morning at the sinking road stop on the outskirts of the city. Investigators determined that the victim was most likely dumped close to the nearby forest. She crawled to the bus stop on her own, as evidenced by the traces of blood she left behind. According to the information provided by the aforementioned friend, the car belonged to the Hurricane Taxi Network. The company was provided with a description of the driver. However, they deny that any of their drivers fit the description. Hmm. The police have been looking for the man since yesterday. The body was lying in the grass beside the road, where it was spotted by commuters waiting for the morning bus. What a nice way to start the day, yeah? Finding our body. A friend at the salon testified that the last time she saw Amber was two weeks ago. It was her last day at work before her vacation. At around 9.40 p.m., she left in a taxi for a flight to Amsterdam. Right then. <sighs> Why do people do such things? I'll, yeah, move I'll... I'll move on to undressing the deceased. And her arms are gone as well. Oh, holy crap, man. Who did this? The deceased was brought in wearing only underwear. Now, <clears throat> photographic uh, documentation. Jesus. Equip camera. Take a photo. The deceased's skin is extremely pale. No liver mortis is visible. And a missing arm. The deceased is missing her right arm. Lots of rough, irregular slashing cuts. Who did this to you? Holy air fryer, man. The deceased is also missing her left leg. What else do we need to photograph? The face? Uh, extensive hematoma on the victim's forehead. Palm and front of the hand is covered with numerous wounds. Hmm. What else? Nothing that I can photograph from this angle, I guess. Several signs of redness on the uh, neck and chest. She strangled? Maybe. The deceased is caked in dirt and mud. You can see that Alice has been through a lot. Was well, this woman's name also Alice? Formed the autopsy. Why is she so? <clears throat> Our name's Amber Lou. Why did it say Alice? The overall picture is. Uh, I'll grab the magnifying glass. The wound mm -hmm. looks relatively fresh. 
The deceased could have fallen. Or maybe she was struck hard. Minor redness appearing in several places. The wounds were stitched up by someone hmm. who knew what they were doing. However, it seems that the sewing was done in a hurry and quite carelessly at that. Holy air fryer, man. There are no signs of internal bleeding, detectable through an internal examination. Both the arm and leg were taken all the way to the joint. The perpetrator used a scalpel, but the cut line itself looks jagged. Or maybe not a professional. The wound on the bend of the elbow seems much deeper. I'm wondering about this bruising. These wounds appear to have been caused by crawling across rough ground. Yeah, and she was crawling, yeah? Uh, let me sum this up somehow. Let's find the clipboard. This injury could have been fatal for Alice. Why do you keep calling, calling her Alice? It's Amber. It seems that the perpetrator was very interested in preserving as much skin as possible on the removed limbs. Some of the wounds were made by the victim crawling, and the hickeys... Hickeys are not fatal. But in this situation, they are worth examining. I assume that the deceased had a cannula inserted, and was groggy cannula? the time. What if's that? There appear to be no signs of struggle. The stitching doesn't appear fresh. Amber appears to have suffered like this for at least a few days. A few days? What? The exact circumstances of the wounds, or the conditions in which the deceased was kept. Poor, poor Amber. The perpetrator definitely didn't realize how tremendous will to live she had. Maybe it was an accident, or perhaps the final blow. Even though the wounds were stitched closed, they were clearly reopened by the act of crawling. Alice suffered a lot because of this sicko. She keeps calling her Alice, just before he said Amber as well. I'll check with the UV lamp whether what the perpetrator did. Extensive toxicological tests should help determine what substances she was given. There are many indications that she wasn't aware of what she was being put through. But that's good. It is unknown how much blood Amber lost during her escape. Now he calls her Amber again. And especially how much during the procedure performed on her. I think maybe you should take a vacation, Jack Hanman. I think you need it. Infection could have set in, even if that wasn't fatal. It would severely weaken an already strained body. This has the hallmarks of some sick sexual fantasy. Uh, I will uh, check the UV lamp whether uh, on a hell. <clears throat> Cases like these can be uh, extremely disturbing. Traces no of shit. smeared blood from wounds. There is some... Oh. Alice. Alice. You know that I would never... Why did you do... What? Why did you do... Hat? It doesn't even say that. Huh? What? Why did you do hat? Huh? Okay, we need some pills, you know. Jack, breathe. It's just... <sighs> you just do more and more of these pills. You know? Maybe that's what's doing his head in. You know? Pull yourself together. 
Return to the autopsy. Don't mind if I do. <clears throat> well, we left off with the uh, the torso. Okay, so I use the UV lamp you again. See, uh, there are traces around the hickeys. Most likely saliva. More traces of the dramatic fight for survival. Huh? The perpetrator was obviously looking How the for writing is gone. To fulfill his paraphilia. Uh, the writing is gone. Oh Christ. Did we imagine Police it? Police will have plenty to do. If I can find my hard drive, I could just take an X ray. I'll move these tables away. Make room for the X-ray machine. Holy crap. Uh, maybe Dorothy should take over for me today. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> I keep wandering off in my thoughts. Okay, the hard drive in the office. Hello? Huh? What? What? What's going on? Alice! Me, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't want to. What didn't you want to? I I must have gone crazy. You really are losing our mind. What? What happened to Alice? Did we kill her? Oh. Here it is. What the heck, man? Huh? I heard that. Hello? Oh, these bombs need changing. Oh shit. Where to find the X-ray machine? Can it be in the lab? Maybe? Should think it would be in the lab, right? Oh, is there water running from the toilet next door? Okay, maybe in the storage room then. Locate the X-ray machine to perform the next examination. Where can it be? Is it in the dissecting room? Maybe? No? Where the hell is it? Why is this floating in midair? It's a bug. Where's that x-ray machine? It's down in the basement? Definitely not in here, right? Eh? In toilet? That wouldn't make sense. This wouldn't make sense either in here. It must be in the basement then. Really? Oh no. Huh? Did you answer your phone? Telephone? What phone? We all know. Huh? What? The phone rang a few minutes ago. Uh, they all know? For you to take medicine. How so? For you to get results. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll call them. What? Back. What's up with you, Ridley? Can't go in here, right? No. So let's go check the basement. See if the x ray machine's in there. They all know. What are you talking about, Ridley?
Open the door. Open that goddamn hatch, man. See if we can find the X-ray machine down here. It's not down here either. What? Really? Am I just blind? Why could I even get down here? If it's not... It's not here. Hmm. Locate the X-ray machine to perform the next examination. Where the hell is it? Could it be in here? No. Pretty sure it wasn't in here anywhere. Or maybe it's just not highlighted. I was right here, man. Right? Doesn't this look like an x-ray machine? <laughs> yeah. Way too long. Should go home. How many days is it? Oh, it all rolls into one. Let's get X raying. Take the detection plate from the side of the machine. Mount the panel under the head of the corpse. Frame the head and take the x-ray. Oh, now, now center it between the eyes at the root of the nose. Like so? Is that good enough? Frame the head. Uh, I don't know how this works. <laughs> Frame the head and take the x-ray. Cover the whole face. But that's definitely too much, like so. Haven't we framed the head now? Okay. Hello? Why are you making this so hard, game? Right between the eyes and the root of the nose. I 
I had no clue. Okay. There we go. Looks good. <laughs> Click. <laughs> I thought for sure this old thing would have tripped the breaker. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just need to take the hard drive to the lab. I'll print the image and uh, print I need to out the X-ray results. Crystal galley, aneurysm, internal auditory canals, Alice, ethmoid and frontal sinuses. Alice, what did this have to happen? What? For? The greater and lesser wings of the sphenoid bone and. <clears throat> That was really random, he just said Alice. There, right? Drive connected. Now, just to upload the image. Uh, and now I can print it. Let's print this bad boy. Hmm. It looks like a good exposure. But why, why can't I see the wound? Yeah, I need to look where's the wound? The light box. Where's the head? Where's the wound on the head? Oh, strange. Should be here, right? After a peek. Let there be light. Oh, what? Damn. I knew this luck wouldn't last. Oh, I almost believed that this would go off without a hitch there was, tonight. There was Alice off again. To the storage room I go. These flickering lights would drive anyone over the edge. Yeah. Like you're not over at the edge already. And now it's all broken. Ah, great. We'll take the light. Take the power. Fuck. Don't you wish? They ain't working. The flashlight and to find Ridley for help. The flashlight from the table. Oh, here we are. Ridley! Shit, whatever, just check in. What? what? Hello? Jesus. Ridley! Ridley's gone. Uh, <coughs> there's a surprise. Why is it that whenever I need Ridley for something, yeah, he then he's gone. Disappears into the ether. Uh, it's oh every time, man. God. Oh, all right. What now? I'll start the generator in the shed. Maybe it's been left unlocked. For once, Ridley's carelessness <laughs> will be useful. <sighs> it's getting cold. It must have rained earlier, and it looks like it won't be as simple as I hoped. Really? Just need to move this? Uh, great. And ah. The keeper of the keys has left his post. God. I haven't even started the dissection yet. <sighs> Fuck it. I'm getting it. Okay, the hammer. I don't have the time or the strength. Must be in basement, right? Take it. Uh, Jesus, I'm feeling dizzy. I'm exhausted. Sure are. Uh. God damn it! It's actually holding up. Oh well, well. <coughs> something new in this shithole. <laughs> Makes a change. Uh, God. I am not doing well. Definitely not. Uh, uh, now what? Something's missing here? Some kind of switch? The generator crank? crank? Uh, oh. oh no. <laughs> There's so much shit in here. Let's see if we can locate the crank. So we can crank it up, baby!
Atel. There's the crank. Uh, yes, I think this will work. Uh, it fits. All right, now just let's start this up. bad boy. Something wrong? I need to put some a fuel in it. No? Great, get started. Here we go. Uh, not for long. Uh, huh. Oh man, the empty. Sure would make a nice decorative ornament for the garden though. But this empty. one's empty, okay. Sure would make a nice decorative ornament for the garden, though. We have some in the basement, maybe. Some fuel. Here we have some. Ugh, emptiness. Oh! What? What? This scared the shit out of me, man. Is that the coffin fallen? How did it end up here? Oh, that's the picture we sent to Charlotte, yeah? Alice's sister. Wife killer. Okay. Maybe we did kill our wife. Finally. I'll just start this thing and call Dorothy. Or the Dorothy? <laughs> Wasn't there our sister in law's name Charlotte? Uh, I think I've had enough. I shouldn't even be here. Not today. That's true. Well, let's try and fire up this bad boy. That's enough. Nice. Another empty jerry can to add to the collection. <laughs> I'm not used to this, but. What, what? At least this... Oh, that's loud. What? Hey! I didn't see who it was. Was it a male? Was it a female? Uh, what just happened? What the fuck? Who tied me up? It's only for a moment. Sorry, yeah. man. And who the Steven? F are you? Steven? What the fuck do you mean? I think what? I hit you too hard with that shovel. That's my brother in law. Great fucking what? joke. Untie me now. I don't have the energy for your shitty games. Mm-hmm. Me too. <laughs> what? I don't understand. What's going on? David, what do you mean? This has got to be some kind of mistake. I, I didn't kill your sister. You, I think. You, 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 and your moaning, you, you and your problems. You're not the victim here. But, but... Shut up! Can sure seems shut like I'm the victim. One fucking second. To me, you are just a murderer. <sighs> but what? what do you mean? What? Knocked down? You thought I didn't know anything? I don't have any idea what you're talking about, Stephen. My poor sister. Even now, you can't muster up any courage, any honesty. You disgust me. I suspected you from the beginning. As soon as I found out that. That Alice is dead. I knew it was you. Tumors. You had a presumption then. Unexplained circumstances. Who are you trying to fool? Hmm? For God's sakes, you're a doctor! <laughs> Save it. No. It doesn't work like that. Shh! I haven't finished talking. 
Why did you lie, Jack? Why, why didn't you say anything? You confessed! <sighs> I knew I had to do something about it myself. Any of this making any sense yet? No. Mm. Threats? A ring? Photos? Red Pete on the loose? <laughs> he died in that accident, by the way. You sick fuck. Yes, I am. <laughs> You've no clue just how much. Oh, I'm on some fantastic fucking drugs for it. Only, I've been slipping them to you. <laughs> I was hoping to break you down. That you'll be pushed into doing something drastic to yourself. And I'll just stand there and watch. <sighs> Her tumor was curable. That's a filthy lie. This... <sighs> it was only a matter of time. Again, lying! I saw the scans. <sighs> you know what? I think I've had enough of your bullshit. <sighs> all right, all right. Okay. Oh, it's lighting up a fire. I lied. Hear me out. We had an argument that day. Worse than usual. I was... I was drunk. <laughs> and I was angry. <laughs> there was a fight. I pushed her. I pushed her against the wall. She hit her head and... She fell. She fell. Yes. So Just we like accidentally that. killed her. You know? Limp. That life was... <laughs> I panicked. I thought, I thought, I don't know. I didn't think at all. I was afraid I had caused it. That someone will accuse me. That it'll be the end of my career. When I called an ambulance, it was too late. Way too late. It wasn't an accident. And then I lied. I said that's how I found her. That I wasn't there with her. And now, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about it. Ever, everything, this whole year, just dead memories. As if I didn't exist at all since that day. Fuck, here we go again. Even now. <laughs> Even now, you have the nerve to lie. Steven, I'm sorry. I suffered too. It wasn't an accident. You understand now? But it was. Someone has to pay for this. What's going on here? Steven dropped the gun. It's none of your business, Sean. Leave and forget you saw anything. Steve, you know I can't do that. Mr. Ridley, please run. Shut up. You know I'll shoot if I have to. Uh -oh. well, in that case, Steven. Holy no. crap, man. That was the end of the game? Who died? Did Ridley die? Did Steven die? I guess both of them didn't die because we heard some running. I guess... Steven killed us. Wow, what a game, what a story. This was kind of epic, man. Jesus. So it was Steven all along. Wow. If you're just as flabbergasted, I think is the word, as I am now, please leave a like. And subscribe. Until next time. Bye bye.